the wilderness stretches endlessly, the scorching sun beating down on the parched earth. Jesus, fasting for 40 days and nights, endures the harsh conditions for 40 days and nights. Jesus wandered the wilderness, seeking solace in the silent expanse, his spirit steadfast amidst the arid vastness. If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. But imagine the relief from hunger, the satisfaction of your needs. You have the power to fulfill your desires instantly. It is not only about satisfying physical hunger, but about nourishing the soul with the truth and guidance of God's words. Think of the people suffering from hunger. With your power, you could feed them all, gain their admiration and loyalty with you. My mission is not about using my power. For personal gain or worldly admiration, it is about spreading love, compassion, and the will of God in the world to show the mercy on people. You are resilient, Jesus. But mark my words, I will find other ways to test your resolve. I trust in God's plan, and I will remain steadfast, no matter the trials you bring. When Jesus was very hungry, he faced a big challenge. He was offered food to eat, but he chose to stay strong in his belief in God, instead of giving in to the temptation of eating earthly food to fill his stomach. This shows how much Jesus trusted in God, even when he was really hungry. If you are the Son of God, why not prove it? Throw yourself down from here. It's written in the scriptures. He will command his angels concerning you. It is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. I will not test God's protection just to prove who I am. But think of the spectacle the awe would inspire. Surely if you're the son of God, this won't be a test but a grand display of your power. My purpose is not to perform grand displays. It is to serve and obey God's will, even if it means resisting such temptations. But imagine the impact it would have on those who doubt. They would surely believe if they saw you survive such a fall unharmed. Faith cannot be forced or manipulated by miracles. It grows through understanding, trust, and genuine connection with God. I will not compromise that you are stubborn, Jesus. But mark my words, I will find another way to test your resolve. I have faith in God's plan, and I will remain steadfast, no matter the trials you bring. When Jesus was on a high place where everyone could see him, he was tempted to do something amazing and flashy to show off his power. But instead, he chose to stay humble, which means he didn't show off or brag about himself. This shows how strong Jesus' inner strength was and how much he believed in being humble and not seeking attention. I will give you all of these things, all the riches and power of the world, if you will fall down and worship me, get behind me. Satan, it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Think of the kingdoms you could rule, the influence you could wield. All of it can be yours with a simple act of homage to me. True power and authority come from God alone. I will not compromise my devotion to him for temporary worldly gain. But imagine the good you could do the lives you could change with the resources at your disposal? The ends do not justify the means. Doing good must be aligned with God's will and done in his name, not through compromise with evil and demon. You are unyielding, Jesus. But know that I will continue to test your resolve. I trust in God's plan, and I will remain steadfast, no matter the trials you bring. In the beautiful world that God made, Jesus was offered a chance to have lots of power and control over things on earth. But he said no to this offer because he stayed focused on his love and commitment to God. This shows how Jesus stayed true to what he believed in, even when there were tempting offers of power around him.